Good day, folks. We're back again. Just got done um, readjusting the case. So I was going to tell in our last video it was pretty beat, but um, fortunately no twisted T was involved. But good old hammers and little screwdrivers for, for the back grill. Okay, now it's got a strange design that they used. Of course, it's probably out of focus, isn't it? Yeah, always. Yeah, that's all it's holding that back grill on. There's no screws or nothing. I mean, I guess you could use some. Maybe, but that's that's what makes these units what they are. Seeing that back fan, kind of like a fashionette or a fashion air. This does have what's called a uh, well, I believe it's called a, a donut style coil. Yeah, this one actually does wrap all the way around. Later on, for the fashionette and the fashion airs, uh, they um they have a U shape going around, not all the way. That's kind of like my uh, 1957 uh, cold, Sears Cold Spot. That has that for the evaporator and the condenser, but it's the whole that that's more of a true donut, donut coil. But this has like a mostly partial donut coil on the condenser side, a standard one on a standard evaporator coil, I should say standard style on the evaporator side. So, yeah, that thing popped out again. Okay, thing wasn't too bad to put back together. Unfortunately, it really sucks not having that grill 100%, but at least the unit is 100% all there. So we're plugged in, and we're ready to go. Got a low cool. Really? It's not that bad. Got a decent airflow to it. With the case on, it's not too loud. The back fan does make a bit of noise, but... Got a good airflow going up this side. And by the compressor. Which I will say, this compressor does run mighty hot. But I guess they're supposed to, they're rotary. Not the vet, but the, uh, yeah, this side. I will say, with the, um, let's see if you can hear me. With the case off and everything, you can feel more stronger airflow on this side with the, you know, with it just blowing straight up because of the way that. Baffle thing in there is, as you can see. Eh, not really, but kind of. Um, but with it now, it's got almost an ex a perfectly even airflow all the way across, which is probably why they uh, they did that. So uh, yeah, let's hear this beast run. It makes some noise in high, but it's not. That's gonna drive me nuts. Alright, give me a second here. This does not want to stay together. There we go. Alright. Now with that fixed. Now it's fired up. It does have a good sound to it. So after I had it running for a little bit, it did, uh, the ice that was on the capillary tube, yeah, capillary tube did go away, so. Turn our fan on. And she's blowing cold like she should. So, I think it's gonna, gonna give her some more run time. It can take these units quite a while to get back to where they were, so hopefully no leaks, but at least it's a copper system, so I can have this recharged relatively easily. That is sick though. That is the, the that is the proper way for the grill to go. So, which makes sense the way the fins are pointed. I will say, she does blow the ice cubes.
level of crazy angles going on now. Take that off before we break it. Until she's going to kind of sink the bottom there. Just a wee bit. Gonna kind of massage it in there. Man, this autofocus is really killing me. So yeah, got cold all the way up to the top here. Well, just about what well, top loop is still a little warm. But the rest of them, she's golden. All right. Well, let's put the grill back on it quick. That's not the autofocus, that's just gonna vibrate. Alright. Well, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next unit we get. Peace out.